Beloved, did you know that the greatest prophet Elijah who was promised in the Bible is actually walking the earth right now? Very, very important. You need to know that time has changed and God is speaking right now to the nations of the earth and commanding repentance. For indeed, in the past, I used to be addicted to demonic teachings. I was watching a lot of content that is really worldly centered. You can count a few examples like Scorn, Emmanuel TV, Charis Missionary TV, uh, the Ark of God Ministries, Yada TV, you know, uh, and I'm just counting a few. There are many of them, uh, but the Lord delivered me from every one of those things because, I mean, even while I was in the midst of all that, the teachings by worldly preachers, uh, worldly uh, pastors, worldly apostles, worldly prophets, those teachings are meant to make people horizontal. Focus on the world. And essentially, there was that void, big void in, inside of my heart. And if you look it up also in the book of Psalm 107, verse 9, it says, For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. So when I came to the knowledge of the truth, which is the message of repentance and holiness, how you prepare for the coming of Jesus, how you prepare for heaven, how you, you need to be holy. For the Bible says, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. And I came across the most transfigured and most ancient prophet of the Lord, the great prophet, mightiest prophet, Uo, on TV, on, on, on YouTube. And you can watch or stream also on TV. Um, but it is, depends uh, which channel you're pulling from. But I think uh, it's easier to just go on to YouTube, the Repentance channel, Repent and Prepare the Way channel, or Prof. Jason Kiteko. There's some of the few, the lots of, um, of the channels that do have the Man of God's content. But I think the key ones are those three that I've just mentioned because they've been uh, they're known for streaming love. So essentially, the Lord delivered me and set me free from teachings of the world captive teachings with things that were inspired by demons because the bible says in the last days men will depart from faith in the aspect of the book of timothy and follow things taught by demons teachings inspired by demons but when the son sets you free indeed you will be free and when the lord jesus sets you free you will know you will not fight in a dream you will not have all those funny things in a dream and seeing spirits in a dream the lord will essentially just set you free straight away and then you'll begin to live for the truth and get a peaceful sleep and you know what you need to do uh, the like kind of life that you need to live also like the key things that drew me onto this message of repentance and holiness if you can look it up on youtube also the prophecy of spirit the spiritual rain the holy spirit rain that came upon kenya the land of kenya the blessed land of kenya when the Lord opened heaven on in, in Kenya, the Gusi Stadium, it's called Gusi Stadium in Kisi, the Lord opened heaven and brought down Holy Spirit rain in less than a minute. And that's actually the repeat of what happened on Mount Carmel when Elijah commanded heaven to open and rain came down. And he has also commanded heaven to open and fire came down. We saw it in Menengai. I was watching it. I saw it. And he has also called down the cloud, the cloud of God. So he is in Indeed, uh, the mightiest prophet who was promised in the Bible and as a mission of the two dreadful witnesses of Revelation 11 who have come to prepare the way and also to testify that Jesus is Lord, that nations must repent and turn away from sin. The other message that was delivered is the prophecy of the rodents, the mice, the plague, my, the plague of mice that's coming upon Australia and also the warning on the abuse of the grace. So repent and turn away from sin. Hebrews 12 verse 14.